Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. Hmm. You know what gets me is where are these people coming off it's trying to say that I'm a rapist? And I am on sex offender registry. If you really look up the sex offender registry online, like you should be doing, instead of going to Kiwi Farms and believing all the lies that's being said on there about me, you will see that I am not on the sex offender registry. But this, uh, person right here keeps saying I'm a dirty rapist and then this person right here says I'm a convicted child molester and felon this was proven years ago on what Kiwi Farms which is a website to try to defame me by making up stories and lies about me that's not true see here's a, a website called criminal watchdog criminal watchdog sex offenders in my area I put down my address and of course these are what's coming up here from my area not my home now if I go here to this other one here family watchdog there's my home and then right here if I click right there that's what comes up for who is near me So, do I have to constantly always produce the truth to get the truth out there? Should I get an interview with the actual sheriff and have the sheriff tell you morons that I am not a criminal? And if you keep it up, and if anybody comes around here asking questions and putting out rumors that I'm a criminal when I'm not, they will be arrested. Because that's what my sheriff's department said when I talked to them the other day. Now, if anybody comes around here and, and, and starts uh, talking to neighbors, and interviewing them and saying things about me that's not true all those neighbors have to do is call the service department and tell them and they will be arrested <laughs> because to be a sexual offender you have to be registered with the state of Ohio which I am not because I'm not even required by any judge or any court to be registered you see you people are a bunch of stupid morons when it comes right down to it you live in your mommy's basements you're teenagers and you're in your 20s and you think you know better because you went to college a liberal college somewhere grow up For once in your sorry lifetime, grow up. Because yes, your life is sorry. Even if you don't live in your mommy's basement. If you live in an apartment somewhere by yourself. And you're doing all this stupid stuff. Just because you don't like the truth. You don't have to spread lies. If you don't, I keep saying if you don't like uh, what I have to say, don't uh, visit my uh, channel. 
but I visit the other channel so I can see all the lies that people want to say about me. I have that right. But you really don't have the right to go around and spread rot lies all the time. Well, I, you know, it keeps coming right back to you. We are living in the last days, people. Because uh, Timothy has said in Timothy, Second Timothy three. But know this: in, that in the last days, perilous times will come. For men will be lovers of themselves. You people love yourselves more than you love God because you love the lies that you say on social media. Lovers of money, like somebody else I know, that's all they want to talk about is money, 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 money. Boasters, proud blasphemers, you blaspheme God. You always say there's no God where well, there is a God. And you are proving God true every day you say there is no God. Disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving. Slanders, you slander, you are slandering me and my name constantly on social media without self control. You have no self control, or you would stop what you're doing. Brutal, despisers of good, you despise everything that I do that is good and for God and for Christ Jesus. Traitors. Headstrong, hearty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. You're always saying social media is for pleasure and not preaching. Having a form of godliness but denying its power. From such people turn away. And it goes on down right here too. In 13. But evil men, evil men and imposters will go worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. I was uh, noticing uh, on uh, a, a YouTube channel that was also made to hurt me, where there were two people that were basically bashing it out with each other on that on that channel about me wow I mean you know you're deceiving one another even on social media God have mercy on your souls because that's what it's going to come down to when you are standing before the great almighty and you have to answer for all this that you are doing. You're going to know. Who do you fear? Do you fear God? Do you fear God? Do you have any fear of God whatsoever? Evidently you don't. Or you would stop with the lies and back off. That's not a threat. Because your sins will find you out. See, what gives me is I've also been bombarded with uh, emails from people on social media as well. I mean, not on social media, on email. Email is not social media. Email is email. Email is supposed to be private communication between me and somebody else. And also receiving other information. 
I am constantly getting emails from this per this this person. Actually, it's um, a fake email. I mean, yeah, you can make up an email with any name you want and then say that, oh, that's real. You know, that's real. You know, that's my real name. It is not your real name. It is not your real name. Can I have the authorities check into you? Do you think the authorities would lie to me? And by the way, the Universal Life Church degrees are A R E A R E are accredited because they are licensed. The accreditation association is licensed by the state of California. So you know what? You can keep on lying and 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 lying all you want. Because that's all you are, as a liar. Your sins will sooner or later find you out. When that time comes, God have mercy on your soul. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Because I surely know I will.